Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Power Platform Quick Tips. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at how you can basically hide the interactivity that you have in certain visuals. So maybe you have the desire to build a report that has visuals on it that you don't want necessarily your end users to be interactive with them. You want it to be for display purposes only, but I don't want them clicking anything on it. Well, there's not really a great built-in way to do that inside of Power BI. And so this quick tip is going to focus on how you can hack your reports to make the interactivity of certain visuals not available. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this quick tip might help you. All right, so I have a report that I've already brought up on my screen, a very simple report that, of course, you can interact with one visual and it filters down my second visual. That's, of course, always been there in Power BI. And I actually want to keep that for this example. But what I do want to remove the capability of doing is if one of my users is looking at this map, I want to prevent them from actually clicking on one of the data points within inside of the map itself. You'll notice whenever they click on this that it, it kind of changes the interactivity between other visuals on the report. And that's some native capability that's built into Power BI. And you can, of course, change that. You can go up to the uh, section up at the top here underneath your visual interactions. So if you go underneath the section here devoted to format, visual tools and format, you'll see there's edit interactions. But what edit interactions really controls is the ability to interact from visual to visual. But what if I'm just focused on one visual and I don't want any interaction to exist within this one visual? For example, I don't want the tool tip to pop up here. I don't want my users to be able to actually click on elements in the map. I want to disable this to really prevent them from having inter any interactivity within this one visual. Well, there's not a built-in way to do that, but we can hack this to make it do what we want. So if we want to disable the interactivity for this one visual, we can do a little trick here where we bring in something like a text box. You'll see a text box up underneath the home ribbon inside the Power BI desktop. Bring in a text box and drop that text box right on top of your visual here and make it take up the entirety of the design surface. Now, by default, you'll see it kind of hides the whole thing. That, of course, will remove any interactivity, but we want them to be able to see it. We just don't want them to be able to click on it. So if we select this text box that we just dropped on here, go over to the format options for it. And we can essentially just change the way that this text box is interacted with. So for instance, I can come over to where you see the background section here, change the transparency of the background to 100% transparent. doesn't really matter what the color is if it's 100% transparent. And now what this does for me from a user perspective is they can hover above this, they can attempt to click on things in here, and it's just not going to work because it's going to launch a text box. Now, this is what the experience is like from the, the Power BI desktop. It's going to think that we want to edit the text box anytime we click in here. But you get a slightly different experience when you're inside the Power BI service. So let's take a look at that. If I bring this over here, this is a copy of my Power BI service in the same exact report. And you'll see whenever I go to hover above this report visual, I cannot click on anything. Nothing is interactive. I can't actually see the tooltips. I can't click on things individually. I can still interact with one visual and have it impact the second visual. But then I can't mistakenly click on something within inside of the map. Again, to compare that to what it looked like before, here's kind of our before and after. This is the before. Before, I could see tooltips. I could click on things. And it would potentially make my report a little confusing when I did that. But with the after, with the text box sitting on top of that map, we can't do anything on top of it. So we basically hid the interactivity of this particular visual. And that's it. A very simple, quick tip. Definitely a quick one. Let's do a quick review and sign off for this episode. All right, that's it for this episode. Very much a quick tip today. Hopefully you enjoyed it, but it showed you how you can make an individual visual not interactive for your end users. And you saw from the Power BI service that it was a pretty seamless view. It may not look pretty in the Power BI desktop, but from the service where your end users are going to interact with it, that's really where you saw the fully function capability of this tip. Now, if you're looking to become more of a Power BI expert beyond what I can provide to you within in a quick tip, check out pragmaticworks.com where we have a lot of additional training that can get you to become that expert in Power BI or the whole Power Platform. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick tip. I'm always looking for suggestions, though. So if you could, comment below. Let me know a quick tip that you'd like me to share with others, and I'll see you about creating a video on it. Thanks again, and look forward to seeing you in our next episode.